he just throwing up? Oh, he's eating something, right? Oh, he's eating an apple. What the hell's falling on the floor, though? Okay. Is that me? What's up, guys? <laughs> For, uh, welcome to back to Success Gaming, dude. My intro's all messed up now. You, you got me messed up, man. Alright, so I'm gonna show you guys the room real quick, but uh, I'm pretty much just equipped the uh, Zonko's Prankster Chief outfit that we got for grabbing all the Hogsmeade collectibles. And I'm just gonna wear that for an episode. But uh, yeah, man, look, I got it all slithering you like, man. I got it all doom and gloomy in here. I think it looks pretty nice. I moved everything to this room, though, because this is what I'm pretty much just gonna do with it for now. It's got my, uh, you know... Herbology side, you know, I got some leaves brewing over here, some stuff, and I got on this side potions, and they're all small, one-sided things, so I'm gonna, you know, replace them as I get bigger stuff, you know, one side will be small, medium, and then large, and stuff like that. But alright, let's go, uh, go meet Sebastian. And actually, I think we can just fast travel, because I think he's, yeah, towards the Defensive Dark Arts classroom. Over here. Sorry, I fell asleep waiting for you, dude. Jeez. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. This way. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. Sebastian, you dog. How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. We used to play gobstones here all the time. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between Rebellion. us. Rebellion! He never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. Well, you know what they say about secrets, man. It ain't a secret no more. I know Ominous. Met him in our common room. I've noticed he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. And I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets. But this place is special to him. Of course. Ominous spoke to me about his family when we first met. To say that he has no love lost for them is an understatement. Glad you understand. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to. Away from prying eyes and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. 
but you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. Let's go. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Stick to the targets, though. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses. But I think you'll find that a Confringo cast travels a bit farther than that of a spell like Incendio. Confringo! Nice work. How's it feel? It's a tad hot. You'll get used to it. That's it! I think I've got it. Well done. Quick loot, quick loot. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. I've been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. I haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. I assume it's to do with what you told me. About the port key and Gringotts and Ranrock. Nothing gets past you. And yes, it is. As I'm sure you suspect, there is a bit more to all of this. I'm listening. Well, buddy, since we're friends and you're confiding in me, I'll do the same. As, of course, it's not a secret anymore. You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of the secret Undercroft. You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours... Does this allow you to wield this magic too? I... Uh, I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. Got when I head it. to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. An owl. Got it. Okay, bye. We look so goofy, man. <laughs> Hello, Who's Sebastian. That? Wait. Uh -oh. You there? Busted. I can hear you. Oh, uh, hello, Ominous. I was just heading to our common room. I've recognized that voice. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? Uh. 
I mean, he said keep it between us, but he already knows about it, so should I be honest? I think he's gonna call... Hmm. He's gonna call me out, so. Actually, Sebastian brought me there, <laughs> but he made it perfectly clear to keep quiet about it. That rat! You breathe a word about this place to anyone, and not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster, and I'm not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. Chill, chill. Trust me, Ominous. I won't say a word. Why should I trust you? You just betrayed Sebastian. Please. I was trying to defend him. He was clear that this was a secret place and I was to tell no one. He's a good friend. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant- I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Well, Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. Uh oh. Uh. Just kidding. <laughs> All right. Why don't you ever look in the camera? Every time I look at you, you look the other way. What the heck? Like, don't look at me. You keep. Making me dress Come up like this. <laughs> as soon as you can. I've returned from a rather unproductive trip to the ministry, hoping your time has been more fruitful than mine. Okie dokie, Professor Fig, I'm on my way. Running instead of fast traveling. Wait. Yes. Yeah, one more up. My direction is still not the greatest. Oh, Handy that reminds indeed, me. Your... We can actually... Confringo. Yeah. Accio. I would like to teach you Wingardium Leviosa. It can be used to levitate objects for a short time. Once you've completed a few prerequisite tasks, do see me after class. I was hoping to see you. I gotta say it like that. This sounds creepy. You're back. Finally. Minister Spavin talks more than he listens. Ranted on and on about rogue dragons. Wouldn't listen to a word about goblins. Speaking of which... Listen, Professor, so much happened while you were away. I received a flurry of messages from Professor Black's house elf, Scrope. Scrope sent you messages? Yes, I thought it was odd too. He asked me to meet him and then told me to take the toast. Why would you want to take toast? To a cave under the lake. That's where I found Richard Jackdaw's ghost. Who on earth is Richard Jackdaw? He was a student here long ago. Anyway, he told me about a secret cavern. I went there, and right next to Jackdaw's skeleton, I found the missing pages. You found the pages? I did. And because Jackdaw had followed the map they contained, when I found the pages, I found the location on the map. Believe it or not, it's a room below Hogwarts. Why am I not surprised? Shall we? I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, and we'll need to bring the book. The room is called the Map Chamber, by the way. And the portrait of Percival Rackham awaits us there. Professor Rackham. I look forward to meeting him. How did this Jackdaw get the pages from the book? Evidently, Peeves stole them. And Jackdaw stole them from him. Oh, Peeves. Peeves the Menace, part four. No, I don't think that counts as a part. I've been uploading shorts of, like, Peeves the Poltergeist just because I think it's hilarious and each interaction with Peeves should be in like a little short of all the times we see that man. I didn't, we got him juggling at one point, but I didn't, I didn't make that into a short. To think it was beneath us all this time.
looks promising. If only you were here to see this. Hello, Professor Rackham. We've placed the book on the pedestal as you asked. And this is my mentor, Professor Fig. Yeah, the creator How finally do, fixed his Professor face. Fig. You can recognize and you, him now. my young friend. See now why you needed to return with the book? I do. I also see why you refer to this room as the map chamber. That you have come this far tells me that you possess extraordinary magical ability. The potential and power of which will unlock should you prove yourself worthy. The location of each of four trials will, in time, appear on the map. Trials that will test you and give you access to invaluable knowledge. Trials that you must complete on your own. Do you recall the pensive memory you viewed in my vault in Gringotts? You and your friend Charles spoke of the port key and of trials you'd created for one who could see traces of ancient magic. Precisely. Charles is another of the keepers, a designation we gave ourselves centuries ago in light of the knowledge that we have been bound to keep hidden. Until perhaps now. So, the passage from your ruins to Gringotts, everything in the vault, the restricted section, finding this room, none of these was a trial. They were an important part of the journey, but they were not trials themselves. The fact that you have come this far, however, bodes well. The trials were designed to ensure that the power and knowledge we have kept secret for so long does not fall into the wrong hands. They will test your abilities, both innate and learned. But of equal importance, everything you witness as you complete the trials will inform what you choose to do with all that we share. You will need patience. The trials have much to teach you. It will take time. I'm afraid we don't have the luxury of time. We have waited this long, Professor Fig. Surely a few more. Respectfully, sir, while I do not know the secret you keep, I do know that our young friend here has seen traces. Traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. And we encountered an uncommonly powerful goblin wielding such magic as we prepared to leave your vault at Gringotts. We may already be too late. This is great news indeed. Young, young friend, friend. Do you trust Professor Fig? I do. Then, in the light of your considerable skill and all you have already accomplished, we shall begin. You will find the location of the first trial marked on the map below you. Whilst Professor Fig may assist you in locating the trials, they may be completed only by one with our ability. Shall we have a look? I know that tower. It's not far. You may have seen it yourself. It looks familiar. <laughs> Perhaps your young friend is more well-traveled than you might think. As your mentor, the least I can do is go ahead to make sure it is safe. Join me as soon as you can. You said that you know that tower. What can you tell me about it? Not much, I'm afraid. I've passed it dozens of times, 
It's north of Hogsmeade. My recollection is that it seems abandoned. Clearly, however, the tower conceals more than meets the eye. I'll find you at the tower as soon as I can. Until then, be careful and do not tell anyone where you're going. means the next main quest is the trial let's go ahead and do this real quick knock out a little bit of side quests um i think we have all of this actually i think we just it's have time to you learn yeah we don't have a mandrake yet but the freezing spell it is an efficient way to cool down a heated situation. But first, I will need you to complete a few tasks. Once you've done that, come and see me. And now we got her thing. Go ahead and do that real quick. What on earth is that? That's really you guys? You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. I sound like freaking Pikmin, man. The game on uh, the Switch. Well, the GameCube before the Switch, but... I really like that game as a kid, but... Fortunately, have not played the third one yet. I know not many of you, but someone out there is like, Oh my god, I can't believe you haven't played that one, it's so good! And I believe you. One day, one day I'll play it. So I'm actually going to make a whole video. Well, I mean it's not going to actually take that long, but it probably will take a decent amount of time actually going to go pop all the balloons in this area at least till we get to just like where we cross to the higher levels but where's this last Revelio. one? Revelio! Oh there it is. Alright let's do this one two Three and four, and then you guys probably saw the last one to my right. Brilliant. Yeah, we're right here. Maybe we I guess we should turn this back in. I was gonna go to Hogsmeade first, but Already so close. How did you get on with those tasks? Pretty interesting. Can I be in your business and read your note? Thanks. Wow, Miss Weasley sounds so nice. Hey, can I look at this other note? Thanks. Of course, Imelda. Of course. That's pretty nice of her, though, to at least ask. But, I mean... Man, I'm gonna be miserable! I need Quidditch back or my life is over! Madam Kagawa, I completed the list of tasks you assigned. Wonderful! I trust you became more familiar with your broom through the process? Yes, Professor. That's good to hear. Keep it up, and perhaps one day you'll have a spot on the Quidditch team. If Black ever permits Quidditch again. Well, with those tasks out of the way, let us get started. Glacius. I like this spell a lot. Pay attention to your wand work.
Well done. I'd recommend that you practice your new spell here in my office before taking it out into the world. Honestly, I'm gonna go ahead and respectfully decline. But what we are going to do is go to our other spell set here and equip some things. I want that definitely here. And I guess we should do maybe that and then... There we go. These are only... You're only able to use these three in the room requirement, so we don't need that until we go there for some reason need it. Everything else can just... Yeah. I'm here for a not grass sprig, because I'm not entirely sure I have them in stock. Alrighty, so this is where we're at. We're at Hogs Hogsmeade, and we went to the Dogweed and Death Cap up here. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do it, man. I'm gonna buy the seed and just go Ooh, make one. I'm always thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. I can tell you'll go far. But your things will be safe with me until they're that sold. Better, but I don't then you'll have to make man. do with money. Ooh, cracking cloak. That sounds nice. And we can actually buy a chomping cabbage too. Let's go oh, ahead and I'm do that. I'm always thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. Need a thousand fifty for that. All right, guys. So I'm gonna go to the herbology place and uh, grow one of these. All right, guys. So we're over here at Hogwarts at the greenhouses right here, and uh, we have to wait ten minutes. So rather than wait ten minutes for that, you know, in game and you know record it and stuff and <laughs> have nothing to do uh i'm gonna go pop a crap ton of balloons so i'm gonna do all the balloons so what's up post-production me here i just muted myself in game to address the edit here i was heading to the first set of balloons that i mentioned i was going to do when i stumbled upon these butterflies here that were super close to them and then i started thinking so what you guys are going to see is an edit and it's going to throw you guys into me doing the first set of butterflies and in a second I'll show on the map where I am and then I'll mark the second set of butterflies. I basically decided to do butterflies instead of balloons as it would have been a longer video to do all the balloons. Plus we have to do balloons in the next class assignment and I'm not sure how it would have turned out if I had went to the class with them already popped. So I ended up deciding against it last second when I saw these butterflies. So on the edit, I just spent like almost 10 minutes deciding what I wanted to do. Showing you guys the path I wanted to take um, to get them and flying all the way over here. So I'm definitely going to get rid of that time for y'all and just throw you into the first set of butterflies. So now what I'm going to do is show you guys the location of each set of butterflies. There's 14 sets of them. I'm going to follow them. They lead you to a chest. I'm going to grab the chest and show you guys the next location and edit us there or close to there and repeat and you know just edit out the the traveling time to you know just cut down the video so it's not like an hour and 30 minutes but uh yeah not all my locations are going to be super exact some of them i'll probably get i'll yeah some of them i got lucky and was it was exact but i'll at least be close on some of them and when you use revelio on your broomstick you can actually see like a lot more of the map like it's actually you can almost see everything it's nuts how bad you really don't need to upgrade it but yeah, however, with the butterflies, you got to be, like, a lot closer to them to get them to appear. I think it might be, like, 50 feet, but uh, I'm going to throw you guys back into the live count now. Revelio. Yeah, I actually don't know where the butterflies are over here. I just know it's over here, kind of. The Forbidden, forbidden Forest one's kind of hard. There it is. Oh, they're attacking each other right now. Incendio. Those are doing great. Keep doing that. Oh, actually, there's one up here. Hold up. I 
ready to learn Arresto Momentum, the slowing charge. Patricus Titanus. All people in midair. No. Simply complete a few tasks and then come and see me. Shoo, we're in here now. I might as well do this one. Where is that? Oh, they're down low. You know what? We're not gonna do it. We're not gonna do it. Alright, next one. Let's see, where is the next one? I think it's... It's like right here. See, we're at like 40 minutes right now. And... Shoot. Do all these butterflies and still maybe... Oh, I was right on the money. Look at that. Uh-oh, are these guys gonna see me? They might see me. Hold up, where are these butterflies going? Oh, no, they're down low. Alright, look. Can't do that like you guys can, alright? Little fluttery moths. Let me get out my broom. So I can catch up, jeez. Yeah, this one's kind of far. Hi kitty. Nice kitty. All flavor of wicked to be had with the dark arts. Up dude. Well. It's Yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't want to use it on him. That works too, whatever. Aha! Over here. Let's try like right there first. Revelio. Right, let me make sure. Not over there. Uh oh. Was I wrong? I might have been wrong. I don't know they're down there. Couldn't remember where over here it was. A lot more butterflies this time around. I guess they scattered. You didn't see anything. You definitely didn't hear anything. Wait, where did you go? You guys went this way. What? What are you smiling at? Don't you go giving me that look. I'm saying, if it's cloudy, you know, it might rain. What? Don't do that. Didn't do that. Could it be? As I'm sitting here talking to myself. <laughs> Technically, I am. Okay, next. I actually know where this one is. This one is just a little bit down here. Ish. There it is, man. Alright, so here was the next one. It was right here, but I, uh, 
I actually flew over the one I was going to, so I think the next one's like right here. But we can just do this one for now. The chest. I see you, little chest. I mean, I'm right here. I might as well grab it. It's just gold. It's not anything like collection related. I'm not gonna include all those chests because I mean, I don't even. I wouldn't even know where to begin to go for that, man. And plus, we don't need gold like that later, so I'm not gonna include all the chests in the collectibles. They don't count. What's going on, butterflies? Are you guys stuck? Don't tell me y'all are stuck. Is it right here? You guys just... There you go. I had to reveal it, I guess, for some reason. It's weird. Alright, let's go ahead and go to the other one. Oh wow, look at that, man. I was right on, almost. Close enough. I knew where this one was, though. We actually want to discover this flame here, too, for the part two of the room. Miss Kagawa's missions. I butchered her name, whatever. Butterfly! Call me the butterfly chaser. Mr. Zonko, the butterfly chaser. Look, I didn't have to reveal that one, man. I just did it. Okay, the next one is... Look right there. The cassette, yeah. Alright, let's go ahead and grab this flame. There we go. I don't think this... Is it? I'm not sure if this is where I wanted to go, but... Yeah, just wanted to kind of grab that anyways. Alright, there it was. Kind of close enough. Just under one of the balloons, so that might be easier. The other one's gonna be like across that way somewhere. How oh, dare you? You guys are trying to get me wet, stinking butterflies. Did you guys plan this? Thank you. And from here, well, I guess I'll just mark it so I can at least edit my way back over there, but let's see. So it should be between these two rivers somewhere over here. This looks intriguing. Alright, so I was close. My marker's right there, but it's These over rocks have seen better days. here. Where did this go? It was just right here. Oh, there it is. Right there to be exact. These walls might not like me trespassing, but I am on my my broom. Can you guys attack me when I'm on my broom? I actually am a little curious. Oh well, might as well just attack. Aha! Jack o' lantern. Nice. All right, I feel like it's well, yeah, it's. All right, we're back at the greenhouse. Let's grab our mandrakes. Go ahead and start another one and go back to catching butterflies. I'll show you guys where the next one's at real quick. We only got about three more, so the next one is kind of right. It's right behind the Quidditch pitch, so it's gonna be like right... where was it? I think it was like literally on the road. Right there. Actually, we might can just... go right here-ish? 
Alright, we're pretty much here. I was almost like... I was pretty close. Where you guys going? You guys almost tricked me. Little devils, you. Ah, two spiders. I might can use this on both of them at the same time if they group up. Yeah, I have an idea. Akio! Get over here. Simon's all finished. Nice. Incendio! Ain't like right. simple. Next one is now over here. Next to the water over here. And we're gonna want to discover this Feldcroft one because you guys all remember uh, Sebastian was talking to it. And it'll be so much easier to just... What is that? Yo, that is so cool. What are you guys doing, dude? I've never seen this. That's so wild. Oh, you guys are cool, man. Alright, guys, we're here. Almost right exactly where I marked again. I only following orders. Oh, I bet you were. Such no, you arrogance. could just leave me alone. I'm just here to chase the butterflies. Jump for it. Nice. Buff toy dragon. That thing kind of actually looks adorable. Alright. Um, let's go grab this flame and then we'll go grab the last one. Alright guys, we're here. In Sebastian's little neat, neat little town, I guess. Small little village. Oh, nice to see you, my young friend. Alright, next up. Um... Get where down here it is. Okay, it's right past this one, so right about there ish. Alright, let's see where this one is. Yep, pretty close again. Aha! This is the last one that we can get. Uh oh. Uh oh. Do I gotta fight these guys? I might have to. Oh, maybe not. They're going up. When are you going to give up? Aha, uh -huh, losers. Let's see you get up here. Oh. Hi, you got up here. Hi. Oh. Yeah, the rest of the uh, butterflies are down here more and. I mean, I can show you guys real quick what happens if I try to go over there. Like, one's right here. And... Oh, I mean, I can show you guys real quick. Alright, so I'm at the barrier, basically. They won't let you go up and over there. But if you come right here, you can take this little tunnel and get by. But you, that's the way you have to take it for some reason. I don't know why they do that, but... You can go this way, and I guess sneak by, I don't know if you guys want to, but I'm not going to do that, I'm just going to run past them just to get these last three butterflies for you guys. What's up, losers? We'll have to come back here again and again so we can take out these guys later. But in order to get through here, you gotta go this way. And there's an infamous foe right here. Ogbert the Odd. Yeah, we could just fast travel past that guy later, but... We'll have to fight him later, and... Whoa, you get an achievement for unlocking this place. Pretty cool. And this is... 
a lot harder place. Revelio. But just for sakes of the video and showing we you guys where all the butterflies are. Who is it? Let's see what's up your sleeve this time. Nice butterflies. Nice. You guys trying to make me fall down that mountain? You guys did that on purpose, huh? You little tricksters, you. painting all right the next one is somewhere over here somewhere somewhere over here all right so we're here and it's actually closer to the bridge than I thought it was I think it's gonna take us back the other way no it's not follow the butterfly the butterfly <laughs> I don't know if you guys have ever seen Little Nicky with Adam Sandler. I think it was on, I think it's on Netflix, I don't know. Probably wouldn't hold up to, you know, nowadays movies. It was kind of, most of his movies are like so cheesy, man. But uh, back, back maybe like when I was a kid, it was, it was a funny movie, I guess. He's basically like the devil's son and I guess hell is like freezing over and he has to stop his other two brothers from, and pull him back to hell or otherwise hell like freezes over and stuff and you can't have that. So I don't know. Anyways. Adam Sandler has a thing for butterflies in that movie. And Popeye's chicken. <laughs> oh, you little stinkers. You tricked me. You tricked me. Aha. Alright, and the final one. I don't even know if we can get to this one, but down here and that's getting more creepy that the map's getting so much more creepy all right so where is this thing I know it's on the edge around here somewhere there they are this is the last one now these aren't actually like collectibles on the Hogsworth map but they are they still have to deal with the collection, so we do have to grab them. Part of the 603. I don't even know if there's actually that many collectibles. I just <laughs> saw somewhere that it was like 603, so... Alright, that's all the... That's all the freaking butterflies, man! So, in another... Uh, probably the next one that we're gonna get is... All 32 of the balloons, so... I'm gonna go ahead and go back to class now, and I'll see you guys there. Aha, and we can get another mandrake. Alright, alright. Mrs. Batty Garlic. Hi. I've completed my assignments, Professor. Pleased to hear it. Professor Weasley will be too. I'll be sure to let her know how well you're coming along. Thank you, Professor. Professor Hecate tells me she taught you Levioso, so you should be ready for a more advanced levitation charm. Wingardium Leviosa requires a bit of concentration and a nice, graceful wand movement. Let's see you try your hand at it. When executed correctly, 
You should be able to pick up boulders as though they were sprigs of sneezewort. Wingardium Leviosa Revelio. here in the greenhouse. I've set some crates out for you in the next room. Nah, I'm good. But oh, thank you, I very much appreciate it. Um... Professor Garlic, a moment of your time? The plants are resting, so now's as good a time as any. Get to know you. I was wondering, what made you want to teach herbology? Of you to ask. I've always had an affinity for greenery, so this situation is a bit of a dream come true. After graduation, I was thrilled to be asked to step in for my old herbology professor. He'd had a slight accident, you see. Oh dear. A shame for him, but it worked out well for you. Hmm. Well, he never cared. I mean, really cared for the plants, and they could sense it. Oh, you'd be surprised how perceptive a plant can be. At any rate, the trouble began one day when he cut into a Wigan tree. Unfortunately for him, its leaves were hiding a bow truckle. You may recall the marvellous creatures that resemble a twig. The little beast gouged the professor's eyes quite fiercely, but terrifying, I'd imagine. Uh, likely for the professor, too. And that's when you took over as the herbology professor? Well, not quite. After three weeks at St. Mungo's, my predecessor regained a tiny bit of his eyesight. He insisted on returning to the greenhouse. Within a week, he had, he claims by accident, kicked a Chinese chomping cabbage. So it was back to St. Mungo's for him. <laughs> <laughs> Fair bit of bad luck there, I'd say. Hmm. Well, I felt awful for him, but I dare say I felt a bit more sympathy for the cabbage. <laughs> Upon his discharge Did you from the hospital, his indifference sweetheart. to plants had turned to utter disdain. He lost what little patience he had left with a particularly temperamental venomous tentacular and... Well, his resulting leave of absence continues to this day. I'm glad everything worked out as it did and that you're the herbology professor now. Very kind of you to say. I do love these gardens and helping my students grow. Huh. Lovely speaking with you. Have a wonderful day. Oh, and remember, be kind to your Wigan trees. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. I'm going to go ahead and do all the balloons in the next episode, all the collectibles, and do this flying class so i'll see you all in the next episode and i hope you guys are enjoying the episodes this far and i'll see you all in the next one have a successful week everyone